Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Let's have a look at this interesting hack. So this game, uh, The Legend of Zelda, which is a NES game. It's not a game I'm too familiar with because my Zelda journey began with the SNES version of A Link to the Past. And then I played A Link's Awakening. This is one that I passed. A friend of mine, he played it. A few friends of mine played it. When we hung out together, we ended up playing like Mega Man and Mario Brothers. So this NES game has now been ported over to the SNES and there are advantages to it. Now, I know some of you guys may have the nostalgia kick and you you may like the hardware limitations the NES presents when it's doing games like this and the big kick this gets from going onto the SNES straight away like you don't get the flicker on the sprite something that the NES was renowned for you know when you're when you're playing the game and your character like is just kind of ghosting and you get that ghosting effect it's not happening here, uh, happening here also another thing that I noticed is when the screen transitions over when you go from one screen to the next it is just butter smooth also uh, by by porting this over to the SNES you can use um, the, the fast drum uh, chip that the SNES has so there are a lot of advantages now if you're going to play Zelda if you've never played Zelda before I've never completed uh, this Zelda game the only thing uh, the only time I've ever played it is when I'm kind of doing it for videos and researching it I did enjoy the Zelda roguelike ROM hack that was out I featured a video on that previously I really really enjoyed that now I'm playing this on the analog pocket. You can play this on the Mister. You can play this on an actual SNES uh, with a flash cart if you like. Or an emulator, it doesn't matter where you play it. Just enjoy this awesome upgrade. Now, if uh, if you played the Legend of Zelda originally, then you might be you know you like it for how it is. You like the slowdowns when multiple enemies are on screen. You like, I, and I I get that nostalgia plays a big part here. But, but because I never played this game originally, uh, for me this is the version I will be playing. It looks great on the analog pocket in handheld mode and here it is via the dock via my capture card and it still runs and plays fantastically so my advice would be if you've never played the original zelda game then maybe this is the one you want to check if you've had enough of tears of the kingdom and the world of 3d and you want to step it down and in, in that kind of bird's eye view or over the top view old school kind of vibe in zelda then this might be the one to play to be honest after playing like a bit for the video today where i kind of got to the boss uh, on the first dungeon this is the first dungeon here um it has actually aged well it's not aged bad there's some games that you play from like the nez era the master system era and when you play them now honestly they, they, they're just not worth playing i wouldn't say that for zelda i think even the nez version as it is plays well but this super nintendo version just gives it that big beef injection that just makes it better uh, do let me know if you played the original Zelda like what your thoughts are on this because I'm always interested there's some stuff that I would never take away the deficiencies that game has and an, ex an, an example of that is Street Fighter uh, arcade atavism actually fixed the slowdowns in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and I was thinking about it thinking this is a big thing then I thought you know what this isn't for me I'm not going to play it because after years and years of playing Street Fighter the actual slowdown is a big part of the game for me so that is part of the game and I've adjusted to that so I wouldn't I, I wouldn't change that however this one here definitely a welcome addition so Zelda from what I remember started on the NES so this was the first Zelda game enlighten me if I'm wrong and uh, there was a Zelda game before this but Zelda Zelda started on the NES and I remember there was Zelda 2 as well like one of my best friends who I kind of grew up with and he had the NES before I had the NES so I used to play NES around his house I can't remember what I had at the time it might might have actually been a Commodore 64 that I was playing when he was rocking the NES but he he had the benefit of having some older brothers so his older brothers had multiple machines around the house and I remember playing the NES there and uh I never really played this with him. This was something he played on his own or with his brothers. I had a look at it and I had a look at Zelda 2, but it was always Super Mario Bros. 1, Super Mario Bros. 2, and then there was Mega Man 2, which was like a favorite of ours. There was a, res uh, a wrestling game. I think it was called How Wrestling. So I never played this back on the NES. And I guess by the time, you know, the SNES came out, I played The Link to the Past, which to this day is one of the best games that I've ever played. And Link's Awakening on the Game Boy DMG, still one of my favorite games. But guys, I recommend testing this out. Um, um, this is like I said all on the analog pocket but you can play it wherever you like there's no right or wrong way of playing it if you really do like Infidelity's work he's always always bringing stuff over from the NES to uh, the SNES the last one was I think Mega Man 2 that's the one that he brought over and that was that was fantastic a fantastic job 
world just like this one so if you want to support his work i leave links to his patreon his Kofi, as well as his twitter um or you can just go over on twitter and thank him but if uh, if you're really impressed by this and it's something you like then consider supporting a guy over on patreon but that's really it guys i wanted to show you this game because this has made it over from the nes to the snes and honestly if you've never played zelda and it's the first time you're doing it this would be the version to play anyway guys i'll see you around in the next video if you're not subscribed a subscription and a like all the good stuff is super appreciated i'll see you around in the next video this is pixel cherry ninja out